Hey guys, welcome back to Eventide Reads. Today I'm here to talk about Doki Doki Festival 2015. So Doki Doki is a small Manchester based convention that has happened, I think it's happened twice this year and two years prior. This is the first convention of any sort that I have been to and I had a really really good time. I spent most of my day at a friend of mine's table. Um, I'm going to talk about some prints and stuff I got at the end from several people and that should be pretty exciting. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about how much I enjoyed Doki Doki. The atmosphere was brilliant. There were loads of people that I met that sort of reinvigorated me for the joy of anime and manga. I don't read a lot of manga anymore and I don't watch enough anime anymore and Doki Doki sort of reinvigorated that for me and actually made me want to get into that again and into Japanese culture which I always will love but I've just sort of stepped away from and not really paid much attention to so I'm really really excited to get back into anime and manga starting off with this video and hopefully making even more I didn't film anything from the actual convention um, just because my phone is so dodgy that sometimes it just has half battery and then dies. Hopefully next year I'm hopefully going to go to uh, a couple of conventions, uh, hopefully including Manga Bazaar which is hosted by Wallstones and Trafford and hopefully by then I'll have a new phone and I can record some stuff and it should be real fun. So I didn't get to cosplay at Doki Doki because I only decided the week before that I was going to go because I had forgotten it was on and conveniently I had the weekend off. My friend Josh from work was also going so it was nice to see him and my friend Morgan who has a table. So let me get on with all the stuff that I bought. I didn't buy a huge amount but I bought some lovely things and I just wanted to share those with you. So the first person I'm going to talk about is Kate who has um, the shop and site called Teabug and she was absolutely lovely. She was on the table next door to ours and she was just so cute. And I got this little print. Um, hopefully you can see these. This is her Gemini print. She does a whole load of astrology prints and a load of other really, really cute drawings. This one, I just, I'm a Gemini and I like lilac, clearly wearing a lilac jumper today. And I just really, really loved it. So thank you so much, Kate. It's gorgeous. Next I bought some prints from Sophia Lou, I think is how you say it. All these people I will link their social medias and their shops and sites and stuff all down below so you can find them there because they're really awesome people. <laughs> so I bought a couple of prints from them. The first print I got was of this one which is Lapis Lazuli from Steven Universe. I love Steven Universe and this is really cute. I also bought from them their print of Pearl which I gave to my friend Morgan whose table I was helping with. Um, this is just too cute not to have. I do plan on getting most of these either framed or putting the little ones up and getting a larger one framed, things like that. So I've got a couple of different sizes to choose from. Also from them I got this little Eevee in a kimono, so it's a humanised Eevee. Eevee is one of my favourite Pokemon. I absolutely have always loved Eevee and I always will. <laughs> So I had to have this one because they had them on a deal, so I ended up with three mini prints and I also bought a larger print. Unfortunately this one got a little bit damaged on the way home, um, it's a bit crumpled so I'll just have to flatten it I guess. Um, but it is this Sailor Moon print, again they're all, can you see a theme, they're all in kimonos. It was just too pretty not to have. There was this one and there was also all the Eevee evolutions in, Poke in human farm from Pokemon. I couldn't decide but I really wanted the Sailor Moon one because I'm really really back into Sailor Moon at the moment. I bought a old fashioned Sailor Moon poster the other day from a shop in Manchester and I've just sort of been obsessively getting back into Sailor Moon ever since. So I had to have this, it is gorgeous and I hope we're going to get this one framed as well. The next three things are from Brogan, uh, Brogan Coral, I will leave, again I will leave links down below, you can find her there and I got this little badge because it had a cat on it and uh, cute as heck hopefully you can see this I'm going to like try and do some inserts so you can see some of the stuff properly because it's so cute I also bought two prints from her because I could not resist 
They are so pretty. Of course, one of them is a Sailor Moon print. Are we surprised? No, not really. Um, I love Brogan's style. Everything is just looks effortless and graceful and just beautiful. So of course I had to have this in the moon print. And she also had this print. I'm kind of obsessed with like deer horns at the moment, like antlers and stuff. Um, ever since Shadow and Bone, I have kind of been obsessed. I've been looking for a necklace with them on. And I just saw this and again she had a deal on her prints. So I got this one. I really want to again get both of these framed because they're just oh they're lovely basically what i'm going to do with all these prints is hopefully get a new area on my wall to actually film against and have a mixture of book related things and nerdy related things and just all the stuff i like and lastly is some stuff from my friend morgan so morgan runs the site jellybee she um, has a printing business and she also sells her own prints and she's awesome so i spent most of the day helping out with her i do have a picture on the table which i will pop here or somewhere and you can have a look at it. We were friends at uni so we don't get to see each other very often. I've not seen her for like over a year so it was amazing to spend the day with her so thank you Morgan for letting me be on your table and constantly going how much is this again? I have a couple of prints from her of course because I've been wanting prints from her ever since she started printing stuff. I got this little print which is of a little orange cat and this is one of her older prints it's not necessarily available at the moment and I just, I've always loved one of these, like anything with cats on, I love it and it was just, it was just so cute. Again, I want to get it framed, so yay! And of course I had to have a bookmark, so I got this one, which is a little girl and it looks like a, almost a wolf doggy, but he was just so cute. I have this, which I'm not going to unravel at the moment, but I will insert a picture of the actual print. This is um, one of Morgan's oldest prints. It is the Pokemon Zodiac print that I have wanted since she first started making prints of it. And I finally have one. I have one, it's an A2 size, or just ever so slightly larger than A2. And this is staying safe and wrapped up until I get an actual frame for it, which is one of the first things I will be framing and putting on my wall because I have wanted this print for so long. It's one of my favorite pieces of her work and I'm so excited to finally have one. I just had a really lovely day chatting with people, getting to know people that Morgan had met through conventions and just meeting all the convention goers who also seem to have a great time. Um, the only downside I think was that because um, it's held in a sports hall the acoustics are not very good and we were quite close to where like the main stage was and the microphone kept blipping so it produces really high-pitched squeak noise which when you hear it once or twice it's okay because only once in a while but when you're there from 10 till almost you know, 6 30 it's quite annoying after a while um, and they kept being like hey doki doki are you having fun yet and it's like you're kind of treating us a little bit childish a lot of us are actually you know 20 plus yes there are some teenagers yes there are some younger um i felt like it was a little bit patronizing at times but other than that, the convention guys were great, the volunteers were lovely to speak to and really friendly. Um, everything was really smooth, getting in was just brilliant. You know, you just walked up, showed on your phone your receipt, they banded you and you were in. You know, no complicated ticking you off on lists and trying to make it more complicated than it needed to be. Don't be surprised if you see a ton of anime manga related videos popping up again now, as I'm just kind of re-inspired by it. I am trying to do things like NaNoWriMo at the moment, so it's not going very well, but we'll recap on that at the end of the year. I had a great time, thank you to everyone at Doki Doki, thank you again to Morgan for letting me harass her at her table all day, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!